Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're going to go over how to disconnect third-party apps, websites, DEXs from both your Phantom Wallet or your MetaMask Wallet, as well as how to revoke token approvals on the Ethereum and Solana ecosystem. Now, why would you even want to do this? Well, not all websites are good. Some of them have malicious intent, and the same drainer type attacks that we've seen uh, more prominently in Ethereum is moving over to Solana as the meme, co meme coin craze has drawn more attention, right? So this, this attack vector or this exploit is going to be utilized more and more as the chain gets more and more activity. So you want to be careful what websites you're connecting to, but if you already accidentally approved a token to be sold, spent, or whatever, there's ways that you can revoke that, but it just depends on how quick you are. If you're not quick enough, the uh, perpetrator or the malicious uh, actor could just go ahead and spend swap, you know, get your tokens and exchange it for whatever and be done with it. And there's nothing you can do. But if you could catch it fast enough, you can revoke uh, the spending permissions. And even though you may not be able to get it, at least you stop them from being able to spend your assets or token. The wonderful thing is that Etherscan already integrated this at the top of their website. If you go to etherscan.io and you go to more, you can see there's a button here for token approvals. Now, I usually use a, a website that I have in my favorites, but that's actually really cool. Now, you can see it's still in beta. And if we go to token approvals, you can see here an old attack on a dead wallet that I utilize. Um, it, it, I didn't spend that much, by the way. You can see it says 79 million or actually 79 billion um, Uniswap. That's that's not that's not right. Um don't, don't worry about the numbers. But long story short is you can go to your wallet. If you search your wallet and you can sign in to Etherscan or connect your Web3 wallet, like if I click this, it's going to pop up my MetaMask. Please uh, take a note that this is a beta version feature and is provided as is and as available basis. Etherscan does not give any warranties and will not be liable for any losses, direct or indirect through the continued use of this feature. So it's in beta. Be careful. But if I click OK, you can see I got all the different wallet options. And if I connect my wallet, proving I am the owner of this address that we're on, then this revoke button over here, we can go ahead and stop the intruder from spending that position, which is, which is exactly why it's sitting here, because I revoked it as soon as it happened. However, that is not my amount and that is not my position. That, so even though the asset was tied to me, I think it was only like three Uniswap or something like that, three or four Uniswap. I was able to revoke and you can see here it says connect uh the connect to the uh, owner's address or wallet to revoke approval so again connect to web3 hit okay choose your wallet sign in with whatever your passcode is and then once you have done that you click this little revoke button you're good to go and that stops that token from being utilized now the website i like to use is revoke.cash and again just like with anything else if you click on connect wallet you can choose all the different options out there. You can see uh, they have a number of different ones uh, available to us. Wallet Connect, Coinbase, uh, Browser Wallet, MetaMask, so on and so forth. And once you get it connected, you can actually see that same setup, right? Where you have a token approved and then you can hit the revoked uh, button to stop it, right? So here we have a wallet logged in. And you can see USDT and WSM. And there's no actions that I could take here because there's no approvals. But if there was an approval, we'll be able to see the value at risk or the amount at risk, the approved spender, me, the, who is the owner of the wallet, last updated and then under actions, I should be able to click and revoke. So that is how you stop a wallet or a token from being spent inside your wallet. And on Solana, unfortunately, SoulScan doesn't have anything that I could see that's like that. You know, it just it has the basic information we can use, but it doesn't have any way to stop spending. But I did find another way to do it, which is through famousfoxes.com forward slash revoke. You connect your wallet, and if you have any tokens that had been approved or any spending of assets approved, we can revoke all, we can select all, we have multiple, we can deselect all, we can select individual and then revoke individually or revoke all at once. So I would keep these two websites uh, nearby, revoke.cash for Ethereum assets and famousfoxes.com 
forward slash revoke for Solana assets. Now, as far as disconnecting websites or third-party apps from your wallets, which I would recommend doing on a regular basis, in Phantom, or whichever wallet you're in, try to find the settings icon. In this case, it's under the hamburger here over the left, and we're going to go to settings, and you can see connected apps, and we can see that mu.xyz, which is that token uh, recently airdropped to bonk holders, is what I'm connected to, as well as Famous Foxes. Now, if you look in the background here, we're signed into this wallet, so if I click this and disconnect, it immediately signs me out. Same thing here, disconnect, it immediately signs me out, bonk rewards. And what I like to do is it regularly clean this up and sign out of stuff. Now, official websites or official DEXs, I have no problems with. But third-party apps, right? Like, I, I don't have much knowledge about Mew or Cat and the Dog's World. So, I don't want to stay connected to that application. So, I would recommend regularly removing or disconnecting apps on both your MetaMask, your Phantom, or any other browser-type extension wallet as regularly as possible or as often as you possibly can moving on to metamask in order to disconnect you can see right now because i'm on this uh solana uh token website the famous foxes.com it's not connected to anything when you mouse over the globe here it says no accounts connected to this website so that's good that's what we want but we want to disconnect any other third-party apps from this wallet so we're going to click the three dots in the upper right and then we're gonna click on connected sites and here are all the sites that this wallet is connected to. And you can see revoke cash right here. So because there's nothing to revoke at this time, we can go ahead and disconnect that and all the other wallets, portfolio.metamask.io is through MetaMask itself. So that could stay. Pancake, I trust. Um, Me new coin, I played around with. Uh, I can always reconnect it when I'm ready to use the website. I don't need to stay signed in or connected to these websites. I can just go and sign or connect up again when I am ready. I, there's no need to stay connected just in case there's some malicious intent or maybe a, 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 a drainer type attack um, that's implemented because you're playing around with a website that might not be good for you. So those two things are good practices to have to disconnect websites and if you did accidentally approve or sign a message approving a transaction or a token swap or to send an asset you can quickly revoke the spending of that asset or token approvals through those two websites on the ethereum or solana ecosystem i hope this helped you out in some form or fashion but do me a favor on the way out hit that like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here i have links to both of these websites down in there as well and i hope that you just have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you in the next one